Welcome back to another episode with Around the Geek. Uh, Terrell here and Nadia, Gotham Geek Girl, back for episode two, Infected of The Last of Us, the most talked about show uh, of January so far. <laughs> uh, Nadia, what's going on? How you been? Good, good. Today's a perfect zombie day for me. I was actually at oh. a Walking Dead exhibit today. Okay, <laughs> and okay. And we got the next episode of The Last of Us. Happy to finally be able to talk about stuff and yeah, loving it. Yeah. So we 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 back we back on schedule. You know, we get back into the show. What did, what did you what have you what have you thought about the show so far? I mean, I know you watched episode one, and then you've you know got episode two, and it about like, do you feel like this is this is exactly what you needed, or um, do you feel like they they maybe sticking to the script a little too much, or do you think this you know it's it's not really uh, it's not exactly what you thought it would be on, specific to this part. Um, I'm loving it. I, I'm very happy. Like I mentioned before, um, in our, uh, screener, like review, um, when we could finally talk about it, how I, I originally wasn't too set on the casting, but now I'm very, like, they both have, um, definitely surprised me. I'm really excited. And I think they're doing a good job of staying true to the source material, but giving us more like, um, with episode two, I love the opening sequence with Indonesia. Mm -hmm. I think that perfectly was like a great way to like segue into like kind of what's going on, the way this is spreading, like not giving too much information, but like expanding upon the story because the game is so much focused on Ellie. Um, and it's kind of like they need to find a way to, I guess, kind of show more of like the outside world, kind of how things happened without trying to find a way to like, because, you know, like in a game, it can take us like a few Yeah, it's a lot of stop and go. Stop <laughs> yeah, and go. to get yeah. somewhere. And like they're going to obviously cut out the parts where we're like, like I loved with the second episode with them. Um, I guess we'll talk about it already. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Uh, with the with the clickers. Oh, I was so yeah, I was like, because yeah. I think I mentioned this before. I was like, how the hell are they going to show the clickers? Remember we were talking about like the echo, like hearing and stuff. Right. And I was like, how are they going to um, portray this in live action? Because the clickers are so frightening and they're they're not easy to beat. So I'm hoping later they'll get into like the crafting shivs and stuff. But I love how the like Joel's like you have to be extremely quiet. Like you can't you can't even breathe. Like you have to right. be, like they can see you, but you can't like literally breathe. So I love how they did that, and I think they did a great job bringing that into live action. The clickers look dope. They look scary, and like you can even see like the kind of like mushroomness to them, like yeah. the fungus and. I, I think they're doing a great job. I'm I'm really happy. <laughs> um, the, I mean, obviously you, you're gonna have some of your Last of Us purists, man. It's gonna be like, oh, that's not how it happened. Why they do it like this? You know, stuff like that. But you mentioned the scene with uh, Indonesia, um, and I, I don't. It's been a minute since I went back and played the game again, but I don't remember them really giving as much context as to mm -hmm. what the hell actually happened and how this infection started, um, and. In, in this, they, they kind of say, hey, you know, X, X, this happened in Indonesia, and um, they kind of get into a little bit more um, as the, the inspection was, was spread, or at least that was patient zero there, and whatever happened there winds up spreading to, to the rest of the world. Um, but I don't remember. They'd never give you any context like that in the game. Exactly. Um, as to, like, what happened. And you might, you might pick up, like, a like over, I don't know, like or over reporting or something like that, or something something that you pick up that talks about it, but they don't they don't give you as much detail. But that's something that I was looking forward to when I watched the show because I I just don't want to watch what I've already played a dozen times. You you got to take this opportunity to to build upon other characters, give them time, build the world out. If this is something that's going to potentially get more than one season, you know what I mean. So you want to give a little bit more, you know, even though the story is focused on Joel and Ellie. You want to try to focus in on other characters and give them more more time that the game couldn't provide because, like you said, it's a lot of stop and go, you know, shoot and stab everybody, you know, clear the area. Um, but it's but the show does it's like I said, it stays faithful so so far. So even with this, like you pretty much for people that played the game, it's like all right, I know this is coming, I know this is coming, <laughs> this is that scene. Okay, so like what this is what surprise does it leave left for us? At, you know, watching the show, and like you said, with the Indonesia scene, I think that was basically like, oh, okay, that that that's something that we didn't get before. Um, also, something in this episode, um, they kind of they don't do the spore thing, and they kind of change up how the infected work a little bit here, 
because you don't you don't see any of that <laughs> in, in in the game. Um, it's like everything's kind of connected in the ground. Like, what was what, that about? Yeah, I was wondering with that because I'm like, I kind of want to see them wearing gas masks because I mm -hmm. I kind of want to see like the. I mean, it's not a huge deal breaker, but I mean, like little little things like that in the game are what like separates each kind of monster and each kind of like tribulation that they go through because right. every like chapter of the game, they, they go through new things. They obviously meet like human enemies, but meet different like zombie enemies. So it's kind of knowing like the different ways you have to go about in the game, like coming from like a gamer. I love like the whole stealth concept. Like that's what was one of my favorite parts of this game like you have to think like strategically like am i gonna like move in am i gonna be loud am i gonna shoot like you i love that they showed that scene too where um the gunfire went off and they like joel noticed that they heard it because mm -hmm. like that's something you have to pay attention to in the game like there's certain parts where like you can't shoot because if you shoot they're coming after you so i kind of like that they touched upon that also yeah, you definitely. Uh, as Ellie is like, "Can I get a gun? Can I get a gun?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and yeah, like you said, that that whole scene where you see them kind of make their own little stockpiles um, along along the way when they go back, and of course, you know, she grabs the gun, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Um, but you mentioned like them kind of the the stealth part of it, and and that scene where they're kind of traversing through the building with, with Tess and they got to go around. That's something that you got to do a lot in the oh, game. Oh yeah. <laughs> hours and hours. <laughs> right. And open, open another door and, and they, they stopped, you know, again, because they didn't want to make a bunch of noise. They had Ellie go up and go around and open the door, yada, yada, yada. And then we get the whole thing uh, with, with the clicker, um, which I'm, I'm surprised that didn't happen sooner. Um <laughs> Uh, what did what did you think? I, I guess because this is our first and last time seeing Tess here. Uh, what did what did you what did you think about the actress and how they kind of flipped that around? I liked her. I think they did a good job with her because that's the thing with like The Last of Us. We'll, we're introduced to characters that can go like that, <laughs> and it's like what the game does so beautifully. It's like you build attachments to these characters. Mm -hmm. So I think the show is already. Like already, like even watching that moment, I mean, as the gamers, we, we know Tess isn't going to last. But for anyone that like hasn't played the games, like that's going to be new for them. And I still felt the emotional attachment, even though like we know pretty much everything that's going to happen. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the show's doing a good job of still keeping me like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Tess, Tess. Like it was still like emotional. Um, The. uh the uh they definitely build more here with saying that there was a relationship between Tess and Joel. Um, I, I feel like you you kind of get something in the game, but I feel like it's a little bit more obvious here that they had a whatever going on in this twisted up world that they live in now. Um, is you know, because we're on the we're on the hunt for uh for his brother and we gotta get that battery. And uh, the only way to get that battery is to uh <laughs> trade off Ellie. Um, but I feel like in the obviously in the game. Um, that you actually do meet the guy. I be, I feel like you actually do meet the guy you're supposed to get the ball battery from, right? In I the game. Don't remember. I remember you going through like a back warehouse or something. I can't like remember that. that part, yeah. But but it's, it's just stuff like that. It obviously, you know, just translate to TV, like because I said, I mean, I wish I can get more of those stuff stop and kill moments, but I feel like you can't do that every episode. Yeah, in every episode. And it's like, how do they still got ammo? How do they still got this? Because <laughs> yep. In the game, you just keep finding bullets. You keep finding other guns, stuff like that. Um, and then we, you know, we like I said, we get to this part where obviously, you know, Tess and, and Joel and them part ways. <laughs> Tess and Joel part ways. That um, plant kiss was weird, though. That fungus. Yeah, that's kind of odd. That's why. I, that's why I paused for a second because I'm like, what? I don't what? remember what? this. <laughs> that didn't happen, and, and, that was and a of course, weird. we know in the game. It's not it's not the infected that come in. It's like soldiers that bust in. Fedra comes in and she winds up trying to take them out. What did you, what did you think about the change that they did here? I don't know if it's huge. I think maybe they're trying to give us a little more on the infected. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I hope like going forward, everything is going to be more focused on like the human aspect. Um, like, well, human to human. Right. Um but I think maybe the show is trying to give us a little more kind of a feel of what these creatures are. Right. Get like more of a sense of what they do. 
Right, because it's this cordyceps virus. So, you know, they call it, it it t- it attacks the brain. It takes over the brain. Mm-hmm. Pretty much like you're you're dead, but you're being puppeteered by, by the virus. See that I mean? Like, which is essentially still a zombie? Like, do you know you're a zombie if you're a zombie? Yeah. Um, but like you said, like, you're dead. But yeah, like you said, that kiss was weird, man. I don't that even was know weird. I don't, I didn't, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know about that. <laughs> um, and at what point did she get bit? You know what I mean? Because I felt, I don't remember, like, I remember in the game, it, and you just mentioned that too, the whole thing um, with Ellie. In the game, they test her to see if she's infected by going through the uh, the spores. They have her go through the spores, and in this one, she gets bit again. She gets bit twice while they're, while they're in, the, in, in the struggle. So I don't know if she was bit prior to them going on this mission, or she got bit while she was struggling with that thing with Ellie. And I wonder if that's that's something that they changed there, just to kind of obviously. Because they t- they're taking the spores out and they they've shown something else. I wonder if that was one of the reasons why they made that change. Yeah, that was kind of odd because I was wondering that too when she got bit again. I was like, are they gonna try to like make her stronger? I don't. I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't <laughs> like. Yeah. Is she gonna get some kind of benefits from from that? But yeah, that goes back to like I wish they had the spores. <laughs> I feel yeah. like that. I don't know. Like, not that that's more of a challenge in the game, but I feel like that's more of a like a different experience like it shows how drastic this world is because if you don't have this mask you're asked out <laughs> and like you said in this one it seems like in no way it was like the spores came from like infected not being burned like sitting there too long and they became bloated so spores came out and stuff like that um yeah, this our- kind of makes it like not that not that it makes it easier but like they can go anywhere right so, yeah, I mean, they pretty much can't go anywhere. I mean, that's why you see, I think, on episode one or this one, like, where they show them, like, burning the people, like, that be affected or, like, mm-hmm. whatever. Like that. So, to that, to that, for that reason, that doesn't happen. Or what you see in this episode where they're all, like, um, growing into the ground and stuff like that. And it's like a, like a hive network thing. thing yeah. Yeah. Um, this is definitely cool to see, you know, like I said, Bella, Bella and, and Joel. Oh, Joel and Ellie kind of because I mean we knew this was gonna happen. Everybody that was gamers, but I'm curious as to how the did the world, like the people that had never played the game, did they expect uh Tess to go out? Like, did they think that she was gonna be on the journey? Because like you show in the trailers that there's no reason to to believe that she wouldn't be there. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what, what do you think like the general public's reaction to to to, to that would have been? I think they're probably gonna be sad because people always want their protagonist to win and then being that they hinted at um at tess and joel having some kind of relationship Mm -hmm. i feel like people that didn't play the game would probably want to see some kind of happy (laughs) like thing going on Uh, yeah yeah. Yeah. (laughs) nothing about the last of us yeah i'm like prepare yourself guys like when we get to see (laughs) you you're gonna want to kill yourself (laughs) we're we're just we're just in part one (laughs) (laughs) this this is like I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but yeah, like, like I said, I mean, I mean, overall, I think I thought it was a really great episode. I mean, but I think I think it just didn't give us enough to avoid the predictability of like, oh man, we know this is coming. Like, and it's still cool to see it. You know what I mean? It's still very cool to see it. But I think I just needed a couple more, couple more twists to just kind of throw me off, um, kind of make this its own thing, make it fresh. Like I said, I know everybody loves this story everybody loves the games but i do think that when they make stuff like this they should give us a little bit of something that we haven't seen before you know what i mean because you don't always get the same thing when you get a book to a movie you know what i mean like and some people love the change some people hate the changes but i mean do you do you think i mean so far episode two infected do you think this pretty much is nailing it when it comes to adapting adapting this directly from the video game i think it's doing a decent job like i'm i'm excited I'm happy. The cast surprised me. Like I said, um, Neil Druckmann is attached to it, so mm-hmm. that made my day. Um, the soundtrack is amazing. The visuals are amazing. <laughs> there were literal moments, like even there was a scene where Ellie turns around and um, Joel and Tess are sitting behind her. I remember that moment. Like there, there were like scenes like that you can literally like just remember, like just like them walking or like her crossing the little bridge thing right. and like seeing the backdrop. Like there's so many scenes where you're like, this is beautiful and, and it feels like the game. So that gets me excited. Um, I mean, back to like what I mentioned, like before, like with the casting, I'm a little nervous um, 
with um, Bella Ramsey, especially for season two, because I'm like, will they recast her? Are they going to wait a couple years? Because she's a lot older and the, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, she's like 20 now. She's like 19 or 20 yeah. now. So, I, I mean, guess we'll see if she looks older by season two. <laughs> If they don't recast her, yeah, you know, which I doubt they have to, I feel like it just changed up her cut a little bit. But like I said, yeah. I mean, depending on when that second season comes out, with you know next year or two, maybe she'll, you know, she. I doubt she'll get any taller, but yeah, because <laughs> like, like she, she's gonna need to bulk up a little bit. She's gonna yeah. need to. But yeah, like I said, I mean, I know everybody's just loving the show right now. I mean, I mean the level of love for the show, people. Are losing their minds, like oh, you know, they, they like you said, the music. People got the music mm -hmm. from the game. You know, people have a video every, every every second about it. But I mean, it's like I said, it is pretty good. I do think you know Pedro and Bella. Um, you know, that, as we get to see more of their relationship develop, because they are the stars of the show. But I would like to see other characters get shine. You know, or characters get background that we haven't seen before. That yeah. that be nice. like I said, uh, not that we need the. Uh, the Fedra guy, you know, his his backstory and thing like that. But I would like to see maybe they have more flashbacks to Joel and Sarah, potentially. I, I mean, I would hate that they use the actress one time and she's gone. Maybe we'll get a flashback or something somewhere. But, you know, so, something that get kind of make it seem like, you know, Joel's not evil all the time. He's just going around killing everybody for no reason. So, like I said, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty great episode. HBO is killing it. Um, I, I loved. I hope that I love that we're getting more video game adaptations on TV, um, because TV is the way to go these days. Um, but I, I would love. I can't even think of another show that you know, because PlayStation tried Power and that didn't work out. <laughs> Power's that didn't work out. So I'm hope. But I, I think HBO. HBO was the move going here. Absolutely. If you want a show? Go to HBO. Uh, anything? Anything else you want to say on this episode before we get out of here? Uh, well, I was gonna say like. What I do like with Bella is I think she's kind of embodying Ellie's early personality. And like, mm -hmm. she's like cursing and like, she's like, she, I think she's doing a good job. I'm just not, like I said, nervous for season two, but that's, that's a different story. Like, we'll <laughs> that's, just, a, that's a whole dark story. Yeah, there. that's a whole different <laughs> thing. So we'll, we'll just focus for now on season one, game one, and she's killing it. All right. Well, that was uh, our re spoiler review on everything that happened. Test dies. Joe and Ellie got to, uh, you know, get it together. And we're about to go across the world. So uh, see you guys for episode three. Uh, we definitely uh, will be back. Drop us a comment. We'll tell us what you think about the episode. Uh, again, Around the Geek here, Gotham Geek Girl. And, uh, Firefly. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> she is an official zombie infected killer. So she's certified. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you guys for episode three and see you next week. See you.